Yeah, come on in. Come on in, everybody. Make room. Now, before I begin, I'd like to ask for three volunteers to just hold on to three things for me that will be useful in the story later on. All right, how about you have love? Maybe you can have caring. So a long time ago, there was a special teacher we called Jesus of Nazareth. He worked really hard to help people live the best possible life. Jesus taught the people who followed him about the kingdom of heaven. Can you say kingdom of heaven? Kingdom, kingdom of, of heaven. heaven. Very good. Which was a new way of living, and it was based on showing love, treating all people fairly, and caring for others, and very much like our seven UU principles. Jesus said that if we could love one another, treat each other fairly, and take care of each other, it would really be like making the world a whole new place. And people had a hard time believing in this whole new world, this kingdom of heaven. It seemed strange, and people didn't really know what he was talking about they had a harder time understanding it. So Jesus would use examples of things that people around him could understand, things that they were used to seeing every day. Jesus talked about mustard seeds because many of his followers were farmers. He talked about yeast because most of the people baked their own bread. He also talked about pearls. Now, most of his followers way back when were not very rich. In fact, they were quite poor, and many wouldn't know what a pearl looked like but they could all understand that it was a really, really precious thing. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven was like many things, such as a mustard seed, yeast, and an expensive pearl. Pop quiz. Can anyone tell me what these three things, a mustard seed, a yeast, and a pearl, what do they have in common? They're beautiful. That's a great answer. Yeah. What else? They're all round. They're all round. People can use them for varying things. Yeah. I, so I'm thinking that those are all exactly right. I'm thinking about their size, maybe. What do they all have in common about their size? But they're all really small. Absolutely. They're small. Yeast is just little grains, and you could, you could easily miss them. You could also miss a mustard seed, which is super duper tiny. A pearl is also kind of small, but very valuable. Now, yeast is useful, especially if you like nice and fluffy bread. A mustard seed, while being super tiny, can grow into a bush as tall as I am. In the same way, when you think about it, love, fairness, and caring can all seem like real little things. That even if, if you don't pay attention to them, it seems like they could be small little parts of our world. But if we have enough love, fairness, and caring, they can grow in how they interact in our lives, and they can actually change the world. And another thing that they have in common, not just that they're small, they're also unexpected. When someone says the kingdom of heaven is like, they're not expecting these small things. And the great teachers of that time, they had big, complicated ideas. And they would talk about it. They didn't care if the people they were talking to didn't understand what it was they were talking about. Mm. Yep, simple things. Mustard seed, yeast, and pearl. You know what, buckets are simple too. Buckets? <laughs> yeah. You put things into buckets and you take them out. The kingdom of heaven is also like a bucket. What? Well, we've all seen a bucket before, right? Has everybody seen a bucket? Yeah. Pretty useful, simple. You can do a lot of things with a bucket. The kingdom of heaven is like a bucket that you can fill with 
simple things like love. Hey, does anyone have love to put in our bucket? Mustard seeds. Bing. <laughs> Fairness. Fairness? Perfect. Yeast. Splat. <laughs> Caring. Caring. Thank you. And even a precious pearl. Ding. What else might you put into a bucket that was the kingdom of heaven? Can you think of something that's important to have in there? Yes. Soup? Soup? Yeah. I mean, that would be great. Very, people around the world would love soup. What about? Joy and happiness. Joy and happiness. Bing, bing. Responsibility. Bing. Candy. <laughs> the Eagles winning the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> what else? Laughter, peace, reduce, reuse, and recycling. <laughs> All sorts of good things. <laughs> so this Kingdom of Heaven bucket is something that we all carry with us in a way. It is invisible and we can carry it in our hearts. Jesus also said the kingdom of heaven is with us all the time and it's never very far away. So let's remember that the kingdom of heaven is a surprising, simple, and unexpected place that really is right here. You can describe it as many things as Jesus did, like a mustard seed, yeast, or a pearl. It can even be a bucket. Yeah, even a bucket that you fill with lots of good things. Love, fairness, caring for one another. So as we go off to our Sunday school program, which is gonna be outside in the grove, let's remember that the kingdom of heaven is that special place, a special bucket that we fill with good deeds and many blessings. I invite our congregation to sing our children off with the words printed in the order of service. <laughs> 